we're doing. I can't see because I'm looking directly in the sun. Um, today we're going to do, um, I'm going to remove a dash, the dashboard. Um, what can I say really? Now, this car has been partly stripped, so it's going to look a bit, you know, probably not like your dash, all nice and new. But um, I just want to give you a good idea of what you're going to need to do to get your dashboard out. Now, let me start by, let's start by looking inside of the car. So, so far the dash looks like this. Can you see that? Now, you should have watched my glove compartment video. If you haven't, then you need to. <laughs> yeah, so you need to um, watch my glove compartment video. Um, it'll also show you how to remove the center column here, which is usually under here. And um, yeah, I think that's it from now. As you can see, the airbag is blown on this one. So I'm not sure it's gonna give me a bit of trouble or not to get out. But um, I'm gonna just show you how to get it out, where to look for the screws and stuff. Now, like I said, I usually like to start from scratch whenever I make these videos. I like to, um, I like to show you exactly what's going on from start to finish. But, got grease on me. But I haven't been able to because this car was partly getting broken down. So, let's go through it. Okay, so I've removed these panels already, but I've, I've just put them on just to show you lot how to do it. Um, now, first of all, these lower panels here, they're held on by some screws under the bottom. So once you've got them, well, that's that's wrong. But once you've got the, once you've undone the screws under there, which are already done done it's just a matter of pulling them off so well it's just a matter of pulling them off pull them off use a removal tool for your one then once you pull that off it allows you to pull these ones off and these ones off so you should have it end up looking something like this Yeah, so this is the stage I was at after, after breaking it up. Now, the rest of this stuff is just a matter of finding the screws. This other front plastic, just finding the screws. And then pulling it off. There's some on the side here. So, that's pretty much simple. This stuff is pretty much simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on and you're going to see the rest of it, hopefully. I know it's a bit unusual in my unusual videos, but I'm gonna do my best to show you what I can. Okay, so first we're gonna start with removing the steering housing. Now this is held in with the torque screws, just at the four corners. Just make sure you get them, it's all pretty easy stuff. I believe it's a Torx 20. So just run around the edges. Like I said, apologies for my earlier camera work. Um, I didn't have no stand and um, it's a bit difficult to do but anyway back to the video you can see I'm just moving the four screws around the edge of that whole casing now this is the heater panel what you've got to do you just pull off the heater panel and um, it'll expose the four screws behind it once again these are all torques and it's all really easy stuff there's only four screws and it pushes back throughout the back of this whole center housing which keeps your holds the stereo and your um, cup holders Okay, so let's just get that out of the way. It's actually got a bit of damage there. Now, once you've got it out, you should be able to get full access to the back of the heater panel now. Um, the heater panel is a bit fiddly. You've got a few plugs in there and they might want to fight a little bit, but just, just, just work and just get them out. Just use your screwdriver just to ease everything out and just be patient with it. Don't pull nothing too hard. Everything comes off in there. So just take your time, it'll be all right. So now onto the vents very easy like I'm saying there and it's the same Torx screwdriver throughout most of this car so you know go into the corners to release that from the um, the actual venting system attached to the back of the um, car now once you've done that it should just come up once again this will have plugs on the back just use a screwdriver just to help you out it's important to remember before you take off all this little stuff make sure your battery is disconnected there you go, because you don't want to be short circuiting nothing. Now this is a secret little screw that's just next to the left of the steering wheel. I'm not sure if I've got a great shot of it there, but it's just 
to the side of this steering wheel in a bit of a nook and cranny corner. Now we're going to start to undo the steering cowl because we're going to be trying to remove the um, instrument cluster. So we're removing the top part of the steering cowl. And once that's free, you can pull it out. You can see what I'm doing there. And then just use your screwdriver just to, or the Torx, just to loosen up any screw, the, the two bottom screws that are holding the instrument cluster. As usual, just take your time and just get it done. Once you've undone the screws, you should be able just to pull it out of your hand pretty easy. Um, just take your time because the wires are still attached to the back, as I'm going to show you here. Um, the, the, the steering wheel slides, tilts and drags towards you. Um, pull it towards you, the steering wheel, to give you a little bit more extra room for you to work in. Okay, as you can see, I'm just doing undoing the back clips, the, the clips that are attached to the back of it. It's done. You need to remove your light switch where if you don't know how to do it, watch my video. You just move it on side lights and pull it. Um, there's a hidden screw behind there, so this has to come out. Now with the other um, dimming switches, just put your finger around the back and push it forward. And it's the same sort of thing, it's just a clip in there, just squeeze it and it'll release it. All your electrical connectors have to come out the dashboard else it will start hindering whatever's going on around there. So I'm just taking out the airbag because I want this steering wheel out of the way. So once again, in my videos, you'll see that you just stick the screwdriver behind and then just, I'm having a bit of a problem with this one because the airbag blew and the back bulged out a little bit. So just remove your um, airbag and um, try and get access to the steering wheel. Okay, with your, I think they call it a triple square in America, undo your steering wheel bolt. Um, you need it on, you really need your, your wheel locked and just knock it up, see that? Just comes off really easy. Now, next we're going to undo the rest of the cowl because it's much easier to get access once the steering wheel's off. Um, to get, so we've got full access to everything around there and because when it comes to taking off the dashboard itself, we don't want no hindrance, nothing in the way. So we're trying to create as much space as possible for ourselves. So we clear everything around the steering column itself. Now this bottom part of the steering column will not come off until you take off that handle which is um, held on by two Torx. I think I believe it's Torx 25 that holds that handle on. Okay, so now at this stage your, your heart's probably in the toilet looking at the state of your car. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look nice, does it? It doesn't look nice, but the good thing is, is that you're more than halfway there now. Yeah, so all we're gonna do now is release the, we've disconnected all of our electricals. And now it's just about removing the last few screws that actually hold the dashboard onto, it's got like a, its own little chassis thing. So okay, now you've just got a few more screws you've got to screw up before you can start to remove the dashboard. Can you see that one in there? Got one here, here, here. Got to remove the screw box off that. Got one in there. So, and I think we've got one up in here as well. So there's a few more screws to release. So let's just try and get through that and remove the dashboard. Remember not to panic now. I mean, like I say, you're more than halfway there. You've taken out all of the, the electricals. So let's just get on and finish it off. Okay, so now we're taking off the screws. You have to remove the side molding because this is where the last few screws are held on. Now, as you can see, there's one down there. I hope it makes sense to you when you actually come to doing it. Um, and um, there's one just behind where the the that where the um, glove box would be. This is a slightly. I think these are 30 torques, but don't quote me because I'm not sure. I think these ones are 30 torques, but these are the ones all at the bottom. The one behind the light switch, like I said before. Just take your time, get it out. Don't lose them because you're going to need them later on. And um, the one in the this holds the fuse to the dashboard itself. So just take your time. Use a ratchet one if you if you can, and just take your time. And just take it off. You can see what I'm doing there. I'm doing a lot of it by hand because once I loosened it, it was pretty loose. So um, there you go. Now there's one behind the instrument cluster which you didn't really get to see just there, but there's one right there. Once you see me take the screw out, you can see the hole. 
So this is the last one on the passenger side. It's got a bolt just hidden up the top there. And now, because we need as much space as possible, we're undoing the clamp that holds the indicator arms on. So, because we're going to try and get rid of that, because we don't want that breaking when we take off the arm, um, take off the dashboard itself. Undo the plugs at the bottom, and remember not to spin the circular ring around too much. Now, it gives you just enough room to get it over the head of the steering wheel. Um, but once I'm there, I just want to just disconnect it. So just take your time and disconnect it. Try not to yank it anything too hard. And um, just be careful when you're disconnecting it because you don't want no problems when you come back to putting it on with split wires or stretched wires. There you go. It's all done. Now you've released everything. Just give it a little shake and you see it's all coming out now. There you go. Just take your time, have a look, check around, make sure you're not pulling any other wires. And once you're happy, everything's going as it's supposed to be. Here you go. Always checking because you don't want to pull anything, like I said before, and you don't want to break the dashboard because if something's hooked up on it, it could possibly break one of the lower kind of arms. So just take your time and just ease it out. Here you go, it's free. And you see me pulling it out of the car. Simple as. Look at that. So now you can do whatever you want to do if you want to modify it. I'm probably going to modify that one, so maybe that'd be in another video. So yeah, so that's my video on how to remove a dashboard. Um, it wasn't hard really, it wasn't hard at all. Um, a lot of the stuff I've covered in my other videos, like the uh, removal of the instrument cluster, steering wheel removal, airbag removal, um, glove box, all that stuff is in my video if you watch my library it's all in my video so I didn't really go over them in detail I just wanted to show you the main screws that held it all together so that's what you do hope you like it comment rate comment rate comment rate comment rate subscribe to Facebook as well and um, yeah thank you